Welcome to this fascinating video about the Bertha Boring Machine, the world's largest tunnel boring machine. In this video, we will explore the incredible technology behind the Bertha Boring Machine, its impressive size and capabilities, and the groundbreaking impact it has had on tunneling. Here we go. The Bertha Tunnel Boring Machine is, named after Bertha Knight Lands, the first female mayor of Seattle. The Bertha Tunnel Boring Machine, also referred to the SR-99, was designed and manufactured by Hitachi Zosin Sakai Works in Osaka, Japan. It holds the distinction of being the largest earth pressure balanced tunnel boring machine in the world. It was later transported in parts and assembled in Seattle, Washington, USA. Construction began in 2011, and the machine was launched in July 2013 to bore a two mile long tunnel under downtown Seattle as part of the Alaskan Way Viaduct Replacement Project. The machine costed around $85 million to design and build. The Bertha TPM is an impressive engineering feat, measuring 326 feet long and weighing 7,000 tons. It has a cutter head diameter of 57.5 feet, and it is powered by a 6,700 horsepower electric motor. The machine is designed to bore through the ground using a rotating cutting head with a series of cutting discs, which chip away at the soil and rock as it moves forward. Despite initial setbacks, including a two-year delay due to damage to the machine and a long halt due to the presence of an underground steel pipe, the Bertha TBM was able to complete its tunneling work in April 2017, marking a significant achievement for both the project and the TBM technology. The tunnel created by the Bertha Boring Machine is part of the Alaskan Way Viaduct Replacement Project, which involved the demolition of the existing viaduct and the construction of a new underground tunnel to carry traffic. The tunnel created by the Bertha is a double-deck tunnel that carries traffic in both directions, with the upper deck carrying northbound traffic and the lower deck carrying southbound traffic. The Bertha machine also set a world record for tunneling distance, covering 1,000 feet in a single day. The machine was able to tunnel through a variety of materials, including soft soil, clay, and glacial till, and even encountered a layer of boulders that were successfully excavated. The Bertha Tunnel Boring Machine encountered a number of technical problems during its operation on the Seattle Tunnel Project. One of the main challenges was related to the cutting head, which was designed to break up and remove the soil and rock as it tunneled forward. The cutting head experienced significant wear and tear during its operation, requiring frequent repairs and replacements. This was partly due to the challenging geological conditions in the area, which included hard rock and boulders that were difficult to cut through. Another technical challenge was related to the conveyor system, which was designed to transport the soil and rock debris away from the cutting head and out of the tunnel. The conveyor system also experienced significant wear and tear, and there were issues with the belts breaking and the bearings failing. This resulted in downtime for the machine and delays in the project timeline. In addition to these issues, the Bertha machine also faced challenges related to its power supply and cooling system. The machine required a significant amount of power to operate, and there were issues with the electrical supply that caused the machine to shut down. The cooling system was also problematic, as it struggled to dissipate the heat generated by the machine's operation. This resulted in overheating and damage to the machine's components. Important Features of Bertha Tunnel Boring Machine Number 1. The Guidance System to ensure that the machine stays on track and doesn't deviate from its intended path, it uses a highly sophisticated guidance system. The guidance system includes a laser rangefinder, a gyroscope, and a GPS receiver. These technologies work together to provide accurate positioning information and enable the machine operators to make real-time adjustments as necessary. Number 2. The Cutter Head. The Cutter Head is made up of 57 individual cutting tools that can be replaced or rotated as needed. The cutting tools are made from hardened steel and are designed to cut through a wide range of soil types, from soft clay to hard rock. The cutter head also includes a series of sensors that allow the machine operators to monitor the condition of the cutting tools and adjust the cutting parameters as necessary. Number 3. The Environmental Controls. The machine is equipped with a series of dust suppression systems that help to minimize the amount of dust that is generated during the tunneling process. The machine also includes air filtration systems that help to remove particulate matter from the air, as well as noise reduction measures that help to minimize the impact of the tunneling process on the surrounding area. Number 4. Crew Accommodation. Bertha is designed to accommodate a crew of 25 people who work in shifts around the clock. The machine includes a crew cabin that is air-conditioned and pressurized to ensure the comfort and safety of the workers. The crew cabin is also equipped with advanced communication systems that allow the workers to communicate with each other and with the machine operators. In conclusion, the Bertha is a remarkable achievement in engineering and construction, representing the pinnacle of tunnel boring technology. Its successful completion of the Alaskan Way Viaduct Replacement Project and its world record-breaking performance have demonstrated its capabilities and paved the way for future tunneling projects around the world. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more educative content on machines. 
and as always, thank you for watching.